Hello everyone and welcome back to another Marvel's Avengers video. Uh, I am currently in this video as the title and the video thumbnail suggest. I am going to be telling you guys the ultimate guide to resources in Marvel's Avengers. Now please mind, uh, just ignore me being awkward. I'm just very socially awkward and I do not like talking a whole lot even though I may do it in a lot of my videos. And please ignore background audio. I don't know how to like block it. I'm on the most direct version of my blue snowball microphone. Uh, so yeah, please just ignore that and uh, I, hope we, I hope I can help you with the resources uh, in Marvel's Avengers. Now switching to the gameplay, as you can see I have now drifted to one of the sides. I am playing as Black Widow and we're going to go and launch into the inventory and go to the gear section. Now in the gear section you notice these this bar, right? So each section means a different thing. Now these four resources are used to upgrade uh, these gear pieces, but um, this one right here, the nanite, is used to upgrade um, uh, the melee gear. And then you have the nano, or the uh, catalysts, which are used to upgrade your ranged gear. And then you have the nanotubes, which are used to upgrade uh, what are they upgrade? Uh, your defense gear, and then the last one, um, the plasma orbs, are used to upgrade your heroic gear. Now the other two to the, ref the re uh, left of it are upgrade modules and f um, like fragments. That's weird that it's just fragments, but anyway, uh, you can get these from uh, strong boxes or in some can uh, cases dismantling gear. Now the total list of these are f uh, units, units and credits. So the units you can get for uh, and use in-game vendors to purchase cosmetics. Um, and then you have credits which are used in the online marketplace for uh, obviously just cosmetics. Um, so you can buy suits, you can buy takedowns, emotes, nameplates, all that fun stuff. Um, but this is in real world dollars. So this is $27. Uh, you can also get I think $1,200 um, from fully completing each hero challenge card. So that's a total of six. Um, and they are also used to buy um, post-launch character uh, challenge cards. So the Kate Bishop one, uh, the Hawkeye one, the Spider-Man when it comes out in January. Um, so along with those two like money resources, you have fragments right here, upgrade modules, nano nan nanites, nanotubes, catalysts, plasma orbs, polychoron, uru, and DNA keys. Now each one has a different, like different use. So going back up here, units can be used in-game vendors to purchase um, new pieces of gear and then cosmetic items. Now this is um, so the the cosmetic items you can purchase are accessible from the cosmetic menu. So this one right here, we'll look for one. So these okay patterns at the fabrication machine. So the ones that um, say fabrication machine can also be purchased. Um, so, oh yeah, right here. Acquired from the cosmetic vendor aboard the helicarrier. So this suit right here, you can purchase. Now they do go in and out. They um, they go on, they, uh, they, uh, they are on a rotation. Um, so I think more characters have more purchasable things. Um, but yeah, so that is what units are for. They can be used to buy upgraded gear pieces and then um, Credits are used in the uh, online marketplace um, to buy like exclusive, exclusive. Like you can't get it any other way. The next one, oh, you can also get units from the challenge card and by uh, buying the real life by using real life money. So remember, credits right here. You can get them. There's, there's one in the first one, two hundred in the second one, two hundred in the third one, three hundred right here. And then 500. So I believe that's a total of 1,200 if I am uh, if I am correct. And then the next one, if we can go back to the gear section, the next one is mm, fragments and upgrade modules. Now, guys, there are many, many, many ways to get fragments. They are probably the most like common uh, version or not version, but material resource. Um, you can get them from resource crates, which are on the screen right now. You can get them from strong boxes. You can get them from defeating enemies. You can get them from um, dismantling gear. You can literally get them from anything. Uh, you can also buy them. So sometimes it'll be like 
one upgrade module per 50 um, and then also vice versa so you can also use it to purchase other stuff and if you are going to want to purchase any of these two you will usually use a resource um, and here so say I wanted some Uru I would most likely pay like 50 fragments the next one is upgrade modules they are used to upgrade high power gear so I believe once you're past the hundred mark obviously you can't see it now because my black widow um, but like right here uh, once once these are past 100 i think i know definitely the only way to get to level 150 is by get uh, by using upgrade modules so you use around 260 upgrade modules to get to level 150 for a character and the next one is nanites i'm just going to pull up my thing right here they are used to upgrade the melee gear as we showed before and it is found in the purple resource crates on the screen now and um, sun enemies drop them and blue strong boxes remember they um, are a technical resource uh, and like I said various enemies drop them and I think various enemies drop all of these four um, now going to the nanotubes these are so all four of these are used to upgrade the gears like I said uh, nanites melee gear nanotubes or here uh, defense gear catalyst ranged gear and then uh, plasma orbs are the uh, heroic gear now the next one and these are all these are all found in strong boxes they are found in the crates on the screen now you have one of each color um, they are literally found from literally anywhere they are not as common as fragments but almost uh, the next two are used to upgrade um, these artifacts so you have major and minor artifacts now as you can see here uh, you use polychoron now I do have a fair amount but not a whole lot I did use a whole uh, a lot to upgrade my Captain America and I believe my Thor uh, so as you can see I have four of the major artifacts and you can the only way you can get these is by completing um, alliance mission not alliances faction missions so you have the inhuman alliance and you have the shield uh, the shield faction so you get one for completing each assignment and i believe around five for completing a villain sector um, now along with that you have uru now these are used to upgrade minor artifacts and if i can scroll down to it they are found in chess so sometimes jarvis will pop up in your ear and say hey there's some special some special chess around here uh, and that's where Uru is going to be. Now you can also purchase all of these uh, materials of then um, polychoron and DNA keys, I believe, from the uh, gear vendor on uh, the substations stations. Um, so you have the in the ant hill for the inhuman alliance. You have the helicarrier and substation zero for shield. So either of these three places have gear vendors, which will be on the screen now. Um, usually they're a robot. Um, so yeah you can just purchase literally anything there now on the next one is dna keys now dna keys as it says are acquired by defeating humanoid boss type enemies so you can also get these from opening cache uh caches so uh, basically a cache is there i know there's definitely some in uh, the stark realities mission uh so basically it's a hidden uh like a, it's like almost a vault right so where you can find vault keys is in that section so it's um like a, like a hidden shield bunker and inside there's a shield cache you can get um, vaults that way you get uh dna keys that way you, you get the achievement for 50 uh, str uh cash strong boxes that way and yeah so basically you get these from the strong boxes like i said biometrically locked dna strong boxes um and these are used to open those strong boxes so usually it can be even in depots i'm pretty sure so you have depots and then you have the vaults you can um you there's like this blue and black crate that's on screen now um and you can just use one key to open and you can only use one key until you find another one and then you can use another key so it's a one-time use um so right here eight i did get i believe what was it 20 so if uh, i just made a video on this uh for my 130 to 150 power level guide uh it will be in the description below just a heads up um so if you if you log on to marvel's avengers on any of the three or four platforms i don't know i think it's only three uh, playstation xbox pc and i'm not sure about nintendo switch probably not uh from no uh from october 22nd to november 5th you can get 250 upgrade modules you can get around what is it 
uh, 1500 of these credits uh, 20 DNA keys and a whole lot of units now guys there's no way I'm saving 16,000 units so you definitely know I've, I've, sp I've spent a, a bunch of units uh, but yeah guys I hope you guys did enjoy this resource guide it was a bit of a not a quick one I don't want to waste your time but like a, I mean in my opinion a thorough and in-depth look at how to get all these resources um, now please let me know in the comment section down below uh, what I missed if you enjoyed the video and how to improve in my videos I've been told on my most recent one that it was clickbait I had no idea I didn't I like I literally did not mean for it to be clickbait I thought it was just a good guide because of the cool um, the four the four resource pack that Square Enix gave out um, so yeah I am really I'm really saddened to be told Oh, your video is clickbait. So I really, I really, really apologize for that video. Um, yeah, I, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, but please let me know in the description, or not the description, in the comment section, anything I can do to improve what you enjoyed and how I can do better. Um, but remember, guys, make sure to like and subscribe. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to share to support the YouTube algorithm. But anyway, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.